Nashville Predators, one of the three teams involved in the largest trade of this National Hockey League season, and a deal of such large magnitude rivaled only by the intrigue of the last-minute wheeling and dealing that went into this swap. Here's Chris Simpson with one of the principals, Kyle Turris. I want to take you back to the weekend of the trade. It was on and then off and then on. I mean, for you and your wife, what were those few days like? Um, it was just, it was crazy. And it, uh, yeah, because I think it was the, the Friday night. There's lots of rumors coming out that trade might be happening. And then it kind of got nixed and um, kind of settled down Saturday. And then I think it was Sunday morning we had a, we had a game. I remember showing up to the rink kind of um, laughing about how things were going on. Guys were joking about it and uh, played the game, went home, and, and uh, that night the deal got done. So it was, yeah, it was a crazy couple of days, but, um, and then the, the couple of days after that were almost just as crazy trying to uh, transition and, and uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's worked out great. I'm, I'm really excited. Obviously, you loved Ottawa. Was there disappointment? Was there excitement? A little bit of everything? We loved Ottawa. Um, the friends who uh, we consider family there now, um, kind of the hood we lived in. Um, I mean, playing in that organization is uh, a great spot with filled with great people, um, my friends on the team. So, I mean, all that kind of goes through your mind. You said afterwards, after the trade had happened, that you felt management wanted to keep you, but Eugene Melnick didn't. Do you still believe that? Uh, that's something I'm not going to get into anymore. Do you regret having said it? Because you were, you were pretty open about how you felt. Yeah, no, I, I don't regret uh, having said it. Um, but at the same time, I, I've kind of said all I'm going to say on that, that topic. What about your wife? <laughs> she did tweet out something that certainly made headlines at the time. I was on the ice, and I think she was uh, very emotional about uh, things that were going on. And, um, you know, it's. How did you find out that she had tweeted? LOL? I actually found out from uh, uh, Kevin, our, our uh, PR guy with the Preds, <laughs> after, after the game. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's something that was small that um, she kind of voiced her opinion. And, Which she has every right to do. She has every right to do, and she's uh, a very supportive wife, and, and I love her very much for that. And um, I think we're going to leave it at that. As you get set to return to Ottawa, what's going through your mind? What, what emotions do you think you'll have going back there for the first time? I'm excited. It's, uh, you know, I have so many great memories um, uh, within my time there. So many good friends and um, obviously on the Sens, but that'll be in the stands watching. And um, I'm, ju I'm just really excited. It's going to be a real fun game. You and your wife were both very involved in the community and the Capital City Condors was something very near and dear to your heart. Tell me about them. And I understand a bunch of them are going to be at the game. Yeah, there, uh, there's going to be, I think, 60 or 70 condors at the game. And, um, yeah, it's, it's so neat to, to be able to have them um, there. And uh, I'm so thankful for the opportunity I had to get to know all of them and, and the Perkins family um, and for them to still be supporting me. It's, uh, I'm very thankful. What's it like for you, though, now to be with a team that certainly everybody talks about as a cup contender. It's exciting. Um, it's so neat. I mean, to see what they achieved last year uh, and how the city got behind them. And it's such a cool atmosphere. It's just the chance they have during the game and, and how loud and energetic the building is. And yeah, to see the support that we have within the city, it's, it's really special and, um, to have the opportunity to be a part of that this year and, and the years coming. It's very exciting at the, the potential we have and um, now we got to go out and take advantage of it.